We give all the glories to the Lord. Let us bless each other. Have a peace in your heart. You are the evangelist who will save this world. You will take the land. Thank you for this glorious music. There are so many faiths and creeds in the field where God called us a witness and evangelist. It's a very blessing moment that you grab all of this moment and you will take a closer look at these God's guidance in your field. For two days, we have the conference for the elderly elders. So we just um, take very important messages and the message that we need to recover. It's not only need, needed for uh, uh, the elders, but as all the church members to enjoy. At the beginning of the early church, starts from uh, the people seem very inferior and lower, and useless, but they just change this world and save this world that the Jewish people couldn't. What is the main tool for them to do so? From the beginning, the early church starts with the blessings of the throne. Acts chapter 1, verse 1, 1, 3, 1, 8, and the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God and Christ are said in these verses with Christ is talking about the throne, blessing of the throne in Christ. No matter how smart, how diligent, how great you are, you cannot save this world with worldly things. So God sent these blessings to us to save this world. God let us enjoy this blessing of the throne. So the early church members start with this blessing. Um, to extend the land of Rome. So this Bible is talking to us like this. So from now on, as a person who save, who are to save this world, family and field, and to three seven nations, 5,000 um, people. At this very moment, we need casting. God really wants us to have his thing. That is the throne of God. That is a blessing of the throne. So at this very moment, you must enjoy and relay this blessing to others in the name of Jesus Christ. And with a blessing of the throne, for this, then you must, you must put yourself in the throne. That is the beginning. Then all uh, the field and the businesses and the job related to you will experience the blessing of the throne. And the church that you are committed to and all the missions that you are involved in, uh, you will see that people are saving. People are saved. So these three lectures. First, then you must put yourself in the throne and put your business in the throne and the, put the missions in church into the throne, the things that very close to you, that you are very close to your business and your job, that first you must reveal these blessings and the things that are very close to you. That's uh, the place said that you cannot leave. And the church is the blessing that God has given to you, uh, through which that you must reveal 
the blessing of the throne to give these blessings God gave us the very precious messages to us of course there are many participants but still there aren't the people are not participating in the um, lectures then you can just download these messages and listen to it and you will find the blessings of the throne in that you are standing here and it's not just done today that will be related to your future and the present is very close to the future so we just believe this and what we call a belief with these present things that we will see reflect these things to the future and all the things in the future will be brought to your eyes in present then we call it vision and this reality uh, will be revealed as the answer of the future then we call it the real answers this present will be realized in the future that we call it answer the right belief and vision and answers to be um, to be enjoyed is very important and to do so you must open your eyes to see this past present and the future then with these visions then you can enjoy uh, the answers with this vision with right belief and visions then you can enjoy your answer truly then you must know your past and present and the future Israelites uh, Israel people who are uh, aware who are aware of this present past present and future uh, conquer the land of Canaan and it is main passage God is talking about the past present and the future when you look through this Deuteronomy chapter 11 is all talking about these three things especially you and I must in uh, open our eyes to see the future present and the past more importantly uh, to uh, conquer the land the two three seven nations with the open eyes to these first of all your past and everything as a level as long as you have all of the gospel and verse 1 to 7 God is talking to Israelites about their past and you must remember this and do not forget this verse 1 through 7 and from 8 to 11 it's about their future given to Israel people first of all when you look at this past verse 1 says verse 2 says consider the discipline of the Lord your God his greatness and his mighty hand in his outreached outreached arm which means that God will command us and God will protect us with with his outreach um, do not forget these things and we the, this passage says the discipline but in the old book is about um, his commandment of the Lord and his mighty hand is with them so you must uh, remember this what about your feet your past there are so many difficulties and failures 
Still, you are suffering from your past with lots of problems and difficulties. You didn't even, you really even don't want to think about this. So you are in suffering whenever you think of your scars in the past. But important thing is that as long as you are in the gospel and everything is your platform, God is in control of our lives, and as long as we are within God's hands, we are actually saved because of our adversities. And every moment that we suffer from our difficulties and we confess our faith that we cannot live without God, and we take a step by step forward, that is right. As long as you are aware of the fact that Jesus is Christ, all your sufferings and scars and pains are nothing. You don't enjoy this, but everything is done. That means in Christ, all the scars and failures and difficulties became your platform, which help you to conquer and save this world and to save nations and heal the sick. And make them uh, stand in the sum on the summit. They must remember this part. God um, commanded us, and God disciplined us. Is what God want, because God really want us to deal with us in this way. That is God's way, so that we can look up to the Lord in the midst of difficulties. It's not giving us task to suffer from it, and the thing is that God was with Israel people uh, in the commandment, and with still He uh, was protecting Israel people with the outreach done. Why did God command the Israel people and rebuke them? Because God really wants them to know that they are living with the word of God. God really want want them to be aware of His outreach. Um, think about your life and your past. All these sufferings and God's rebukes before them. Um, you thought that you are controlling your life, and you are just taking everything in your way. God is giving us failures and commitments and difficulties. Uh, you experience, go through the, all these uh, difficulties and failures. Then you confess that we can't do this. We cannot deal with this. We face the limits. Then you turn to the Lord. Then look up to the Lord, Jesus Christ. Then you realize that God just let me. Go through these difficulties because we need to put our eyes onto God. That is the real confession that God, uh, when you are within Christ, is are these are the, all the reason that the people look up to the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter eight verse two three, very important part. Um, uh, within Christ as a saved one, these are the commandments we must remember and read, read it together. And you shall remember the whole day that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness that you might He might humble you, testing you know what was in your heart, whether you would keep His commandment or not. He humbled you and let your hunger and feed your feed you with manna. Which you did not know, neither did your fathers know, that he might make you know that God man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. While in the wilderness, so many things happening to you, and all these difficulties, adversities, uh, give you a test to. Lower you, uh, realizing that 
Man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. So, nothing is a problem. As long as you are within Christ, you are out of Christ, then you might have very splendid pasts and your、um, these, but that leads you to failures. But if you notice where all this power, then your past and the difficulties and the things that you don't even think about. Um, have no power before the Lord. Rather than、uh, scars and difficulties, they are the platforms to save people. Why did God let you go through this past? Because the forgetful scars must be discarded from you, because you are tied up to these scars. Then you cannot get into the blessing of the throne. Then you cannot see this. From the beginning, God gave this blessing of the throne to His people, but you are、um, tied up to these scars. Then you can't get into His blessing. Even you cannot see this. Within Christ, the blessings given to you is the blessing of the throne, which first tells you that you must discard the things that hidden deeply inside you, all the things that were imprinted for a long time, and the the, the Satan really. Um, attract you with, then you cannot discard this. Even in the your in your walk of faith as believers, still they are tied to the background of Genesis chapter six, eleven and sixteen, and the things that you have you possess, like your things. You must discard this. If you decided to discard and get rid of this, you can't with your own power because God imprint the things that you really indulge, that God,、um, the Satan tried to attract and lead you to failures. That you, if, if but if you are within the blessing of the throne, then it is automatically discarded. You must focus on God. You must look up to the Lord. Then that's the way. To enjoy the throne of the blessing, blessing of the throne. And I'm not talking that you should not know your past. You must well know about your past, which is related to your present and future. So as long as you are within the gospel, then these are these become the platform to save this world. But if otherwise, if you are tied up to these scars, that Which really to the spiritual problems, then you will fall into the spiritual problems. You definitely must know about this past. In many cases, they cannot find any true blessings in Jesus Christ. They are tied up to the past when they face a kind of small amount of uh, uh, discourage. Then they just get all the, all the blessings and adversities in their life. Because of this one thing, then they were amounted and accumulated. Then they they just bring the the bigger problems, so they cannot get out of this circle. They must、uh, look up to the Lord. By looking up to the Lord, that you will enjoy this blessing. It's not just the place you are, you need, but you. Definitely must be in the throne. Otherwise, tied up to your past scars, your past, your present and future will fall into failures as well. The Israel people were told that their future and their present, and is talking about 
what they do in their present. So in the past, they just experienced God's commandment. That they must remember that His Uh, reached arms and his protection. And talking about, he also tell them, told them, uh, you must remember that he crumbled the f o r c e s of darknesses. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 3 says, his signs and his deeds that he did in the Egypt up to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and to all his land. What did he do to Pharaoh? Uh, what God did for the Israel people to Pharaoh, he sent these ten disasters and m a k e him surrender. So what he, that's what God, he did, what God did. And he opened the Red Sea and remember the army What he did to the army of Egypt, he opened the Red Sea and the Israelite, let the Israelite cross the river. So they must remember the protection of the Lord and all the things while he's protecting his people. So you and I must remember this that you must not a slave of, of evils, but God sent his son and get rid of all the deeds of Satan, authority of the Satan, and he erased our sins. And God is with us as the Holy Spirit because of the destiny and sins and scars. We couldn't uh, meet the Lord, but God, as God uh, saved his people from the hands of Pharaoh, God saved us in the hands of the evil spirits. We were doomed to be a slave of the evil spirits, but God sent His only Son Christ to save us out of the hand of the evil spirits. You must remember this and enjoy this every day. So verse 5, God perfectly guided them in the wilderness. You must remember this. And what he did to you in the wilderness until you came to his place, this place. And on, what, is a, what does that mean you, un, until you came to this place? There are so many adversities and difficulties, but God fed them, God guided them, and God was responsible for their way. So you must remember these parts. You must know your past. If you do not know your past, you do not have any strength for heart. If you do not know the past, you still live in within the scars of your past. Then only to have face failures in your life. If you truly know your past, then you can recover your thanks for heart to the Lord. If you are well aware of your past, then everything will be your platform. And verse 6, what God God did was that uh, the people who stopped the Gospels faced failures. You must not be the one who stopped the Gospel. Really, that's really fearful. Uh, the gospel cannot be stopped, but you must not be the one who stop, try to stop the gospel. Even you do not relay the gospel, but you must not stand in the road of stopping the gospel. Verse 6 says, But God, um, death and Abraham, Ab- Abiram and s o t of e l i a h all the, they were, um, the earth opened their, its mouth and swallowed them up. So, what you 
but it can be the same things uh, to the things that they did. Do you, th do you think? Do you really think that the people try to stop the gospel while uh, doing this mission of this word church? But uh, you um, may become it. Um, you may make mistakes in the way of the gospel, standing in the way of the gospel. Then you challenge God's things, and you might be in the hand of Satan. So you must check yourself. You must not try to do something. You must cast yourself onto truly onto the hand of the Lord, which means you must get rid of your thoughts. And you must align your thoughts to God's things. You must align your thoughts first to the, the things of God. And your prayer prayers must be God's one. But otherwise, the things that you are doing uh, can be the uh, standing in the way of the gospel. And stopping the gospel. God is making things for you, and God is in charge of your heart, your um, what you did, and what you do. So you first must align your thoughts to God. As long as you are within God's things, then even you are doing very small, the smallest things, then the, the weak people will make the greatest nation. So you must be aware of the guidance and his authority in your life. You must pray that you are within God's plan. And I think about the failures that Israel people committed. And your life will be totally different from Israel. Some might say that the people do not learn from the history at all. Think about yourself and the Israel people's failure in history and must remember these mistakes, but and it's warning that you must not fall into the same mistake that Israel people did. Secondly, what about your future? That's your vision. Verse 8 to 12 is talking about the future of Israel. Uh, um, you and I uh, grab all of these covenants. You will get, get stronger and you will overcome this world. Verse 8 says, You shall therefore keep the whole commitment that I commanded today, then you may be strong and go in and take positions of the land. You will be stronger and you will overcome this world. That is your future, and that is the future for Israelites. And it's the same uh, future that you have as the Israel people did. God is responsible for your life. As long as you are in the gospel, if you are doing this with your own power, then you will face limits. There is no life that without any limitations. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 30 said, Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. That means and all the people whether you are young or you are a youth, then you, you face limits. And But you wait for the Lord shall renew your strength, and you will mount with wings like eagles. 
and God will let you experience the tremendous blessings if you keep your eyes into His strength. And there is way that you can experience your life without any limits. You must focus on God. You must look up to the Lord. Then, Jesus, the the Lord without limitations will be with you, with your own levels, your own abilities. It has nothing to do with this. You, when you, while you are looking up to the Lord, then God is doing. For the sake of you in your field with this、uh, true strength and power. So, for the saved ones, God, that means for the saved ones, God is taking care of your life. That God really want, wants, to, wants us to see this power and blessings. Of course, there are so many difficulties in your field and your study, but. If you look up to the Lord, then you can get into the blessing of the throne. No matter what you, do or what you are doing, as long as you listen to His voice, then God will take care of every step in your field without any limits. God is working on you, God is working on your business. You truly look up to the Lord, then you will experience the working of God, and you experience the throne of heaven on earth. You are weak, you are not qualified, but no matter where you are, God is working on you. That is perfect. You might have difficulties, difficulties. Do not deal with this by yourself, but you must look up to the Lord. Then God will work on you. Then The, the problem will completely solve. You think that with your power you can solve this problem, but it's not the end. That brings you another problem. And you look up to the Lord, and God will perfectly solve this problem, and God will give you this blessing of the solution. Then you'll be stronger, and you'll、uh, overcome the,、uh, the, uh, the things in the world. Even you are weak and you are not strong, but with the remnants, making disciples, and they will experience to conquer、uh, the land of the three seven nations in the future. Through the remnants, and will open the door of the,、uh, the worldly ventilations in the future. The remnants with the、uh, gospel, they will specialize in the field, in the world, and the future. They will open the door of the, the politics and business and economy and the culture. Then they will accomplish the throne of God. And to do so, that is really thankful things that God called us to do so. And God called us to do this. God called us this. Call this church to do so. So, with this remnant, to enjoy these blessings of the establishments of the gospel in the world with the remnants, through the remnants, that、so、we are here to save the three seven nations. We are here in this church to save the three seven nations through the remnants. And you must think about this how you can correctly、um, make disciples. You will be definitely stronger and you will establish the blessings、uh, with the remnants that you are, you and this church. We are and this church are used to this. Establishment. We need to save the descendants. We need to save this world. To three seven nations. The Israel people. They were. They fainted in the wilderness. But the Israel people、uh, who knew this future, they conquered the land of Kenya. We will. 
make disciples of the remnants, and help them go forward to uh, the toward the two, three, seven nations. We must put our hearts and efforts on it. Verse twelve says, "The land, the Lord your God, you care for. God cares for." From the beginning of the year to the end of the year, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, God is with you. Always, God is you with you. That's because to save the two, three, seven nations. That's not because you are smart and great, but because we must raise the remnants to save two, three, seven nations and to. Fight 5,000 people in this world from the beginning and to the end of the year. Let's chapter 6, verse 33. Then you seek the kingdom of God, His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. Which means uh, if you are really correct, really uh, evangelist, and if you are to save this world, and if you are to make the disciples to save this world, God is responsible for your everything, and everything will be given to you. And this church uh, is righteous to save to three seven nations. God will fill up this church from the be. What's the meaning of the beginning of the year and to the end of the year? Throughout the year, that's the from the beginning and to the end. Even any rest, without any rest, God will always with us, and the eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it. So think about these tremendous blessings. Without any rest, God is blessing you, and God is taking care of your your everything. And then, who are we that? Uh, there to receive these all blessings, and uh, these are people sent spies in the field. But God, when uh, Jesus sent his disciples, he said that you must discard everything you possess. Then, because God is responsible for their their lives. Then Jesus told uh, said to disciples. Then you must go out and make disciples. Make uh, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 and 19. And all the authority of heaven will be given to you. Then I will always be with you. And Jesus asked the disciples. Disciples asked Jesus, then, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? When can we be saved from the Israel? Because it was a very ultimate moment, urgent uh, matter for the Israel people to get out of. Then Jesus said, it. It's not for you to know the time and dates. The Father has that. But you will receive the power, then the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be the witness to, to the end of the world. What is your standard and your thought? And your times and dates, that is not your business. Your, what you eat, what, you, what to wear, it's not the concern that you are, the, the things that you are concerned. If you are the evangelist to save the system nations, God is responsible for your everything. Do not worry about what, you, what to eat, what to wear. You must. Uh, be concerned about uh, whether this church is for to serve seven nations, and this church will save the people. Then God will take care of your life, your future. Your life and your future will be stronger. And from the beginning to the end of the year, throughout the year, without any rest, God's eyes are always towards you, are always upon you. 
that you will enjoy this blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. In conclusion, whether you have faith or not will determine your future. Your future will be changed. No matter how、uh, powerful promising s you have for the future, without your faith, you can enjoy these tremendous blessings. What is your、uh, belief? What is your belief that you must have now? We just took a look at the past and the present, future, and what about the present? Verse 18 says Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 18. These words of mine in your hearts and minds, and then as symbols on your hands, and bind them on your foreheads. Verse 19 said to teach them to your children, talking,、uh, talking about them. I really, re- I really repeat this whether you have tremendous pr- promises or not, without faith, you would miss them. So, what is the,、uh, the belief that you must grab hold of at this very moment?、Uh, they are like you must grab hold of the,、uh, the commandment, then you must repeat it and emphasize it for your children. So, fix the words of mine in your heart and mind, s then as a symbol and to put it around your hands. And bind them on your foreheads, then your descendants will be receiving your、uh, God's commandment. All this, what is the core message of this? Last we give it a scrap all of as a conclusion Christ, the kingdom of God, and the Holy Spirit. Christ. The, the kingdom of God and the Holy Spirit, that is the mystery of the thr- Trinity. And five strengths will come out of this Trinity. And how this, how did,、uh, will this establish? Then you must,、uh, must possess this Trinity and the blessing of Ethan. And you must possess this mystery of the Trinity, realizing、uh, that you are recovered by the Holy Spirit, and you will enjoy uh, uh, the blessings that transcending, transcending time and date and places. Then you recover your spirit day by day with this. With these words. Otherwise, you may、uh, make th- another thing alive in yourself because of Genesis chapter 6, 9, 11. How can we enjoy this the blessing, the mystery of Trinity? You must grab hold of this light of the messages and the gospels and the throne of. God, then you will recover the blessings of it, and you must focus on two, three, seven nations and the throne of God. You must pray for the throne of God and the abilities transcending time and places and the Holy Spirit. Then you will recover the image of God. And you will, you will recover the Holy Spirit in you, then you will experience the answers coming out of them. Then the people will come to you, then you will be the platform to spread the gospel, and stopping all the disasters as a watchman. And even you do not meet these pers- people, then you can communicate this. Um, communicate the newcomer as well. That is acting like antenna. They must enjoy this and 
for yourself and you must relate this to your children. So this book of, in book of Isaiah, these words, you must actualize these messages. To actualize these messages, then all these uh, nine principles with this throne of uh, blessing of the throne. You must know the past, present, and future, and you can save your future, present, and past. And you must grab hold of this reality, then you will be used truly uh, by the hands of the Lord with this commandment. Our past is not a simple matter after realizing that Jesus is Christ. And all these things in the past will be the platform to uh, open our eyes to see the vision. And we will get aware, well, get a, aware of our future, present, and future, past. And we'll be the true disciples to see this. Please with us. Please be with us, Lord. Always, I pray in Jesus' holy wonderful name. Amen.